Hello and welcome back to another music ranking. I'm your host, David, and in celebration of his surprise EP coming out of fucking nowhere, Feel Better, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to go back and listen to the discography and put them in order from the good ones to the best ones. And I've been around these for almost the entire time, and as you can see, he's always had a good representation He's always had a good representation of my channel. See, he's been here the entire time. Also, I understand this video probably won't have the most views since, you know, Tommy's solo stuff doesn't have the largest crowd. I mean, shit, his albums don't even get Wikipedia pages. But, you know, it's Something all good, man. man. Let's get into it. Yeah, to be honest, the only reason this one isn't last is because it's not even 15 minutes long. I mean, shit. All songs are great on here, and if this is a full-length album, I'm pretty confident this would be like top three, since what he has going on here is awesome. But since it's so short, I really can't prefer it over, you know, the other full-length albums. So, solid EP, but I'd rather have a full album. This is the only one I didn't hear when it first dropped, because back in 2011, all I fucking knew was Metallica. But overall, this is a very enjoyable listen with standout tracks like Sleep Shake and Medic. A couple of clean songs like Scared and Armchair Travel, which helps the overall pacing a little. Then it goes into some heavy-ass electronic stuff like Catch and Release. I definitely prefer his guitar-oriented stuff over his electronic stuff, which is probably why in the next spot I have a particular album. But... Overall, I just think as his career went on, his songs just became kind of more focused. Yeah, so this is the full-on electronic one. Uh, before we listen to all these albums, I thought this was going to be at the bottom. But there's a couple of tracks on here that I think are really good. You know, Strangers in a Paranoid Mind is just this weird but great track. Uh, you know, along with Acid Test. But man, Future of the Year I love, and Slow Gold is hands down my favorite solo Tommy track, period. It just sounds sick with these, like, relaxing bell notes. I mean, you know what I mean when you fucking hear this album. Also, it totally sounds like some shit you would hear while playing Bejeweled. This is most certainly different from his other stuff, so it's a pretty unique listen. Oh yeah man, now we got Modern Noise. This is the first new thing I've heard from Tommy, or the other boys from BT Bam, since Coma Clip didn't come out till 2015. So yeah, I was definitely hyped for this album, and it did not disappoint at all. Especially with tracks like M3 and Siphon the Bad Blood. I also think Mutilated World is a great track. Uh, Noise Upon is a pretty sweet transition track. You know, then we got Blueberry Queen, which sounds like Tommy had the most fun with. This is weird, like, jazz club, you know, swing dance to. I also think it's really cool how we got the original BT Bam drummer, Will Goodyear, on this, and he does an excellent job on it. I thought this was going to be my number one before re-listening, but the next one, gee, I wonder what it is. I think it's just a little more consistent. But coming in number one is Don't Touch the Outside, alright. You got Blake Richardson and Dan Briggs just making it that much more sweet and just demolishing the track 1709. You got tracks like Church Friends, Milan, Mr. Sunshine, this sweet salsa song sw This sweet... The sweet salsa song Sway. Fuck, that's so many goddamn messes. And out of nowhere, this spooky song, Take Your Time what the fuck's take your seats time gentlemen which let me let me show you exactly what I thought of when I first heard this track that's some Luigi's Mansion title screen music if I ever heard it but you know going through the entire album I think this is just the best listening experience as far as Tommy's solo albums go so there you have it 
Tune in to my next music ranking, which is certainly going to be Haken, uh, as soon as the rest of the discography shows up, because this is all I got so far. But soon. And um, I don't know, after that, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Maybe some, uh, some other music, uh, you know, could be interesting. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Take care, everybody.